Hey everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Thanks for tuning in. This is a quick comparison demo video between two really great sounding ribbon mics, both by the same manufacturer, and that's Royer Labs. One of the mics we're gonna be checking out is the R121, which is their flagship ribbon microphone. Uh, it's been out since the late 90s. Um, this mic had an indelible effect on me the first time I heard it and I had to have one. So I've had one of these for a really long time and I know that mic really well. Now the other mic we're gonna check out is the Royer R10. Now this is the newest addition uh, to the Royer family and it was built as a less expensive alternative to the 121. Now uh, it has the same exact 2.5 micron ribbon uh, element in it, which is really cool, but it's just less expensive to build uh, than the 121. So the way I approached this demo was to give you guys three different sounds, a clean sound using my Sir Bella head, a crunch sound using my Friedman Dirty Shirley head, and a higher gain uh, sound using my uh, Rev Generator 740. Now the way I placed the microphones on the cabinet was very static. I basically set them right next to each other, perfectly aligned, dead center on the speaker, and I kept them at the same exact distance. And I just did one pass of all three sounds. And what that allowed me to do was uh, essentially comp between the two microphones um, so that we can do really quick back and forth so that you guys don't forget how the last mic sounded before you hear the next mic. And it allowed me to just play one pass and not necessarily change the way I played each, because even if you play the same exact pass, you might play slightly differently each time. This allowed me just to do one pass and then toggle between the two microphones. Now the microphone I did monitor while I was playing was the R10, but they were both recorded at the same time. So in the comments below, I would love to hear uh, what you guys thought and uh, what you felt the differences between the two microphones were because they're both really great mics and they're both uh, really nice uh, options uh, for what I feel are some of the best ribbon mics uh, ever built. So yeah, without further ado, check out these microphones and in the comments below, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys.